now let me go and discuss about what synchronized blocks okay what is this synchronized block why we have to go for the synchronized block what is this synchronized block why we have to go for the synchronized block okay see guys we are having uh, three types of blocks in our java what are those blocks number one is what static block other one is what instance block and the other one is la i mean at last uh, what is that synchronized block so in order to execute static block and uh, instance block a thread doesn't require to acquire any lock whatever it is class level lock or instance level lock but in order to execute synchronized uh, block a thread master should acquire the lock if you are passing an argument for the synchronized block and it's very important for block for synchronized block we are having an argument okay it is a syntax related thing okay please try to focus just for a few seconds okay what is this means sir synchronized synchronized block okay why we have to go for this particular synchronized block think that i'm having the piece of code here i'm having a n number of lines of code guys n number of lines of code okay only this piece of code is uh, recommended okay only this piece of code is having some data inconsistency problem okay so what i'm going to do here of course think that there is one method public static void main okay public static void main so what i'm going to do here in order to avoid uh, data inconsistency what i'm going to do i'm going to declare the main method as what synchronized okay main method as what synchronized okay now there are uh, two threads let it be thread t0 and other one is what t1 so in order to execute this method uh, i mean this particular method by two by these two threads it is consuming almost what almost like 20 minutes or 18 minutes okay why so in order to execute this particular method the thread which comes first it has to acquire the lock of what it is static synchronized so which lock it has to acquire class level lock so after executing uh, i mean after releasing the lock by first thread which is acquiring the class level lock then only other thread is going to acquire the class level lock in order to execute this particular method right please understand my phrases it's very important you might be feeling critical to catch my points but please try to understand okay please try to repeat it definitely you'll get it okay now so here there is what performance degradence i mean execution time for my application is improving a lot i want to degrade that one how we can do how we can reduce that i mean uh, execution time by using synchronized block so only this piece of code i'm going to put in synchronized i'm going to put in synchronized block okay synchronized i'm going to put that one in synchronized block so in order to i mean in order to put that one in synchronized block a thread okay if it is like synchronized means as i said to you earlier synchronized means blindly get one word in your mind what is that lock what is that lock you have to think about one thing what is that lock so what is this one it is an argument for the synchronized block okay it is what an argument to the argument to synchronized block okay synchronized block so think that this uh, in order to execute this block statements it is consuming 6 uh, minutes okay and all together it is taking how many minutes 12 minutes for this one and this one it is taking some 12 minutes okay so we are going to reduce almost how many minutes so concurrently these two pieces are going to get execute okay and of course here you are having of course we are going to reduce some piece of time earlier to the, i mean earlier to the i mean earlier execution earlier to the earlier our earlier scenario execution time okay try to understand this one okay now so t0 thread will come here and also t1 thread also will come here instead of declaring that entire method as synchronized i'll make that one as static only but uh, here i will make the thread to acquire the lock what is this argument means you are going to pass a particular instance reference or you are going to pass this keyword or you are going to pass the class name dot class so it has to acquire the class level lock if it is like reference that is instance reference means it is going to acquire the instance level lock or if it is like this means it has to acquire the current class instance lock okay that is very very important okay now of course uh, thread one has come it will execute this piece of code now think that think that here it is consuming what is that it is consuming just 1 minute of time okay in order to execute this one it is consuming almost uh, how many minutes like uh, like this is 17 okay 11 minutes okay 
11 minutes okay 11 minutes okay now or else uh, how we can do that one or else wait i'll put this entire piece of code in synchronized block only okay in synchronized block only that will be very easy for you to understand okay the same piece of thing okay now in order to execute this synchronized uh, block thing the thread requires what only one minute of time okay and this entire piece of code is taking 18 minutes and let it be this one as what 17 minutes okay 17 minutes okay now try to observe this one so thread 0 thread 1 will come it will take 17 minutes and uh, in earlier case in order to execute this one uh, 18 uh, 18 to uh, 36 uh, minutes it is taking to execute this piece of code okay i mean uh, this is what uh, time taken by one thread okay time taken by one thread okay if i put synchronized keyboard here if i put synchronized keyboard here both the threads will uh, i mean uh, if into two both the threads will take how many minutes of time 36 minutes of time writing now i want to reduce this one how we can do reduce that one simple whatever the code which is having data inconsistency that you have to put in the synchronized block okay so that in order to execute that one the thread has to acquire the instance level lock or object i mean class level lock okay so it now i'm going to remove this synchronized keyword at this method level so what is going to get happen here both the threads will come okay the thread which has exit i mean which has come also that will execute i mean both the threads will, will execute 17 minutes will be consumed by both the threads in concurrent way okay earlier it is 36 minutes now it is for both the threads it is 17 minutes now we are going to make the thread to wait for one minute so 18 plus 1 is, i mean 18 plus i mean 17 plus 2 is what 19 minutes okay so we have reduced the time from 36 to 19 minutes so we are improving the performance okay that is uh, that is the main uh, objective of our synchronized block when we have to go for synchronized block means in our source code if a particular piece of uh, code is requiring uh, synchronization that is data inconsistency is there in order to make that one I mean in order to avoid data inconsistency for that piece of uh, instruction we have to put them in synchronized block then that nothing okay but we are having three types of syntax for synchronized block so in order to execute these synchronized uh, instructions okay so first thread has to acquire the lock whatever I mean whatever those locks are I mean which locks are those one is instance level lock other one is what class level lock okay now try to observe why I mean when we have to go for this synchronized block in our source code okay in our source code if uh, if a small piece of uh, or a small piece of piece of instructions that is what instructions means LOCs okay LOCs are having data inconsistency or having data inconsistency in order to avoid that data inconsistency I want to use synchronization. How to use that synchronization? How we can do achieve that one by using synchronized keyword? Okay. Now to avoid to avoid synchronize, I mean to avoid data inconsistency, we should go for we should go for synchronized keyword to get synchronization. Okay. We should go for synchronized. We should go for synchronized keyword to achieve what synchronization. Okay synchronization okay to achieve synchronization please try to understand this one guys okay then that nothing here okay and now we are having three types of synchronized blocks okay three types of synchronized blocks what are those a synchronized block i mean what is first synchronized block means it is going to have the argument as what this so it has to i mean a thread which has to execute the instructions which are there available within the synchronized block means it has to acquire the current class instance block getting now synchronized okay synchronized this let it be some piece of code here okay and other one is what other thing is other type is what synchronized before that let me take our class itself what is that synchro okay now i have created what is that i have created an instance for the synchro let it be as what okay synchro s is equals to new synchro okay now i want to make the thread to acquire the lock of this particular instance 
okay synchronized of s this one is very important okay this one is very important okay so if i put here s means it has to acquire the lock of this particular any stands okay and now inside this you have to write the piece of code which should get executed by that particular thread okay now what is the other one third one it is for class level lock synchronized class name okay class name dot class name dot class so here the thread should acquire the class level lock here it should acquire the thread should acquire what instance level lock okay instance level lock which is related to this particular s okay this particular s and here it has to acquire the it has to acquire the class level lock which is related to this particular i mean sorry particular related to this particular class name so example is what i can put like this okay what is that synchronized okay synchronized let it be like what synchro okay let it be like what synchro dot class so it is going to acquire the class level lock okay can you show me one proof means it is so simple just put what synchronized block which is having argument as what instance okay so that it is going to execute here it is going to acquire the class level lock so make the other thread to execute synchronized instance method the same like as i have showed to you earlier you can just make it pro okay no need to worry and this is what our synchronized block and now let us discuss about in i mean deadlock situation that is very very important guys see here deadlock situation okay it is so simple okay what is deadlock okay what is deadlock situation okay what is this deadlock situation okay it is so simple okay it is so simple okay it is so simple what is and we have seen the deadlock situation with respect to the join methods did you remember that by using join method which is having no argument uh, we have seen that one right we have seen that one right but now how to acquire i mean how to get the deadlock situation by using synchronized keyboard that is also very important to us in some interviews they are ask, i mean some inter interviews the interviews are asking this question okay now what is this deadlock okay what is this deadlock situation okay see here the definition for this one it is so simple if one or or if two or more threads are waiting for infinite period of time then it is called as what deadlock situation where the waiting time will not get in that is waiting time is what infinite infinite there is no limit for that one there is no deal i mean there is no limit for that one okay that is very very important what is that deadlock situation if uh, if two or more threads honestly speaking even a single thread also can be taken here that is also possible here that is also possible guys we can prove that one if one or more threads are if two or more threads are waiting for infinite period of time okay more threads okay more threads are waiting for are waiting for infinite period of time okay infinite period of time okay infinite period of time then it is said to be as what deadlock situation or deadlock state okay then then it is said to be as what then it is said to be then it is said to be as what deadlock state or situation anything no need to worry okay now programmatically how to prove this one programmatically how to prove this one it is so simple please take care of i mean i am going to take two classes okay i am going to make uh, two classes uh, i mean two classes having a uh, synchronized instance uh, methods okay i am going to call uh, by one thread uh, other i mean see it is so simple wait i will uh, show the diagram for you